Okay, in today's session we're going to continue with our drawing of natural forms. In the previous session we were looking at line drawings and uh, using contour lines to kind of create things, make things a little bit more 3D. We're going to do something similar uh, with this one and uh, what we're going to do is first of all we're going to do a bit of tonal drawing. So we're going to concentrate on the tonal drawing. I've got uh, an image uh, that I'm going to copy from here but I could draw from a, a live image as well. So, or a photograph. A photograph is probably your, your, your best thing to kind of draw from so I'm, I'm going to use this as my starting point. So I'm just looking at that and thinking about the tones that I see and thinking about the shapes, the way it gets darker. If I look at this one here, you can see how contour lines have been used to kind of create the kind of sense of 3D on this. So we're applying some of the things that we, we've thought about previously into this drawing. So the very first thing that we're going to do is get on with the drawing. Okay, uh, so I've got carried away and I've managed to do the drawing of Pepper from that side. Just looking at the basic, the basic shapes as carefully as I can. So everything starts off in line, thinking about proportions. Um, I've made some adjustments, that's why a rubber is always really important. I've also done a drawing of the pepper from the inside. I'm not exactly uh, completely convinced by that, but it's, I think it's, it's okay. I might make a few changes to that one. And also I've done a drawing of the shell. I can do the other side of the shell, but I've, I've chosen to draw the inside of it. And I'm going to do two little demonstrations, basically. Um, one is going to be dry media pencils. You can do it all in pencil if you want to. Uh, you could do this in, in pen, possibly, but I'm also going to just do like a little watercolour um, version of, of one of these as well. So we'll just kind of work into it. So first of all, I'm looking at this one. If I bring my uh, the image that I'm using as my kind of starting point, if I look at the way that this has been produced, so it's looking at the, the shapes around the, um, the pepper, and, and the 3D kind of shapes, the way you've got these darker passages in between the segments of the pepper. And on this one, it's super regular. And you can see how this has been done. So you've got the lighter areas on the inside, darker towards the edge. And you can see how contour drawing has been used around the pepper to make it 3D. So around the pepper here. And along the top, the contour lines are going in the opposite direction. So the direction of the lines sometimes change, but the direction of the lines creates turn makes it lighter and darker, which will make it more 3D. But also, because it's directional, it'll also create the shape of the uh, of the pepper. So we're gonna have a little go at doing that on, on my drawing that I've got here. So so basically, I'm looking at this and thinking that's a darker line. So I'm gonna start with the darker line for that. So I'm just gonna darken that up, first of all. So I'm just loosely darkening it, just almost with a, a not so much a hatch uh, or a contour line as a, as a kind of block shade, just to make it darker. So I'm just establishing where I think my darker bits are gonna to be, to tell you the truth. And I'm doing that quite lightly and quite loosely. Okay, so I can see it's sort of dark around the edge. So I'm not contour drawing here at this stage. I'm just trying to look on my on my pepper where the, the 3D dark part, parts are. If you're looking at a photograph, it's easy to can spot because if I change the shape of this, uh, the shadows will be in different places on my on my pepper. But, um, but as I said, you can work, working from life is better if you can, but if you've got the photograph or the photograph that I've, that I've posted for you, then then that'll be fine as well. So just developing the tone a little bit. And this is a drawing, it's not a line drawing. I want it to be more finished. So I'm just gonna put that into my hand. And now I'm gonna start to think about what I've been talking about, which was the idea of contour lines. So I want this to be darker. So I've got to first of all work out the direction of my contour lines. So I'm gonna get them to come round and over at the top. So these are my lines, round and over light and loose, creating it, making it more 3D. As I get towards the edge here, I'm gonna change the direction of my contour. So if you look at that, how the contour line now, and it's just, I'm just working in those shadow areas. I've always already established a bit of shadow. So I'm gonna change the angle of those slightly as well. Okay, just changing the angle of those lines. And the, the lines that are close down here, they need to be more curved. So I'm just building it up, making it darker. And then I'm going to come out around. So I'm coming around the shape here. So you can see how that's going around. I'm looking down slightly on that part of the pepper, but actually as I go up, I might need to change the angle of my lines. So you've got to really look closely at the shape. But basically if you curve your line slightly, it'll make it more 3D. Just going to make it a bit darker in there as well. Okay, then I'm going to continue. I'm going to have a fairly lightish patch here. I could add a bit of turn if I wanted to. But I'm, again, I'm not, I don't want the mark making to stand out here. I just want it to be a turn. I can blend it down a little bit. But there, again, there is, there's my contour line. I'm trying to use my contour line to make it more 3D. That contour line is a curving line, curving around this part of the pepper. 
looking at where the darker part is. So it's just curving round. And the idea is you're always just trying to use that to make it a little bit more 3D. It's curved around that way. So on the next bit, I'm going to try and change my angle. Again, just changing my angle. And again, I can change the angle of the paper sometimes. You can see it's a little bit awkward sometimes. I'm just building up that contour line, darkening it there. The other thing you keep thinking about is keeping your, your pencil nice and sharp every now and then. So don't be afraid to kind of sharpen that pencil as you go into it. And again, just a little bit of contour line wrapping itself around. So contour lines is all about thinking about the 3D shape that you're drawing. And as I build it up, I'm going to take a little bit of time. I can work into some areas which are dark. I've got a little bit of shadow there. I might want to kind of actually put the shadow underneath. So I think of my darkest range of tones because whenever I'm drawing, what I am trying to do with the tonal drawing is I've got to think about that range of tones. So it can't just all be light or dark. I want to have some of those in-between tones. And again, I'm mixing and matching here. A little bit of contour technique, a little bit of block shading, very loose hatching is what I'm doing here. Just kind of build up those tones. And the more I work into it, the more I build it up, the more I've got the contrast between light and dark, the more it's going to look three-dimensional with a bit of luck. That's the plan. Okay. So I've worked into this one a, bit, a little bit more. And again, it's all about just working into it. The more tone I add into it, the better that's going to be. My pepper isn't white, you know, so it might have some highlights on, but it's mainly red, so I have to work on the tone, but I've got to keep emphasising those dark tones. And I've, you know, I have combined it with a bit of block shading, a little bit of loose cross hatching, and my contour line, I thought about how my contour line sometimes go, can go up and round, and sometimes how it can go around. And all the time it's about making my drawing more three-dimensional. I'm going to quickly just um, talk a little bit about the shell drawing that I've got here as well. Um, and again, the shell drawing can be done in, very, in a very similar way. But the trick with the shell drawing is that in this case, what we're looking at is we're looking more at contour lines. So I can use my contour lines building up those tones. And what I'm looking at with my drawing, here's my contour lines going round. So I'm just repeating those lines. The lines that I can actually see here, just repeating those round. But I also want to kind of make sure that where it's a little bit darker, I can darken up some of those shapes. So it tends to be a little bit darker towards the edge and I can see ridges that run through this. So I'm just gonna get my contour lines also to go in the other direction. So it's a, it's a much lighter object than the other one, but that doesn't stop it from actually having some darker tones. The edges of the, of the image that I can see are really dark. So I might actually work into some of those edges and kind of create that shadow. But it's those contour lines are the key things with this one, which are gonna to start to make it look more three-dimensional and just changing the direction of those contour lines and then the shadows if I can get the shadows to be deep and dark to contrast to the lighter areas then that's also going to make it more 3D so a bit of block shading here going on there's no real kind of contour line just building up those darker areas and then I'm getting the contrast between the dark area there and the lighter area there but even this lighter area has got a bit of shadow on it so there'll be some areas where I will work into it with just like a, a block shade but other areas where it's really clear that i've got to actually make sure that i'm adding in some contour lines and unlike the line drawing we did previously of this object this time which is going to be a bit more slow a bit more uh, careful and take our time we're trying to make the drawing progress we're trying to add a different quality to this drawing we might start to add in some textures but we're looking at the tone and we're thinking about the form of this drawing so as you can see as i work onto this bit i can't that you don't see the lovely patterns but what i see is i see tone and i can work into the the patchiness of those tones and just think about the edge sometimes it's a bit stronger sometimes it's a bit lighter and i've got to really work out where my darkest tones are my darkest tones are definitely in this area where we've got the shadow now the shadow goes onto the lighter area there I'm just going to work, continue to work into that. So a couple of tonal drawings, creating a kind of sense of 3D, but tonal drawings can also be done in a different way. If you've got any paints, you can do it like this as well. So I've got a paintbrush, I've got a bit of um, blue I've chosen, because it's a nice kind of darkish sort of colour. And I've just given myself a little wash of colour. So this is a, a wash technique. I've got my drawing already here. And if I look at what I'm, this is, this is what I'm thinking about, okay? This is what I'm thinking about. So there are lighter areas of what you call wash colour, which is transparent paint, pretty much. Uh, and there are darker areas. I'm going to put in the darker areas, first of all. 
so I can look at my pepper, I can work out where those dark areas are, I can look at the drawing. I've mixed up my colour and I'm just going to very quickly paint in those areas. So I'm going to just keep it as simple as I can. I'm using, you know, quite quite cheap paper here. It's just, um, just the paper that you might get in a photocopier. And I'm just going to outline where I've got the drawing. So it's important to get the drawing in first. Okay, I'm just going to do this fairly quickly. So I'm just going to put in the darker areas. First of all, so then if I need a bit more paint, I'm just going to add into this. So very much a water sort of colour technique. And I'm just working on the darker areas, the edges that I can see, and all the bits that I think they're going to be the darkest areas. If I use a bit too much paint, what I can always do is get a paper towel. But if I also just dry my brush a little bit, I can use the the brush to suck up the um, the excess paint as well. So just especially when you're using watercolour or any sort of paint where you're using a lot of water, you just got to think about how you can con con control it. Don't panic if it goes a bit too um, runny. Paper towel, just soak it up. Don't, don't, you know, just dab it gently. Or just use your brush, dry your brush off and then work into that. So as I say, I'm just working into those, the darker areas at the moment. I'm very gonna quickly just uh, show you what you need to do next. So you've got dark tones, but I also want some fair, I want some lighter tones. <coughs> so what I'm gonna do is I put a bit of water on a brush. <coughs> Just you know, mix those two things together. So I've got a lighter version of it because it, I've added more water to it. And then just very gently, I'm going to work this in. Careful not to sort of pick up on the very edge. And if I've got too much paint on my brush, knock it off the edge and just sort of like draw around. And you might sometimes need just to let the, the paint dry a little bit before you do this, especially with watercolour. And as I said, this is fairly cheap paper, but I've got, I've got two tones there. And I could get another tone simply by adding a bit more water to my brush. So basically it's water on a dirty brush with a bluish tint. So I could actually put in a little bit of colour there. And again, if I put too much paint on or too much water on, just dry my brush slightly and then I can move it on like that. So I've got a range of tones, dark tone, middle tone and a light tone. And I could even add white to that one. Okay. Yeah, so just, just working into it a little bit more with this one. So the full range of tones. I've got the darkest tones, which I started off with. I've got some of the mid-tones, which are washed down with a little bit of water. Um, and then a really, really light tone uh, that I've added to it. And again, if I just leave it dry a little bit, this one's had a few minutes just to dry. I can then, if I wanted to, I could add a bit more detail in. And I'm just doing it with one colour. So when you do it with one colour, you want to kind of think about um, it being a reasonably dark tone. So blue, a darkish green. A red you could do it with if you wanted to as well. Um, but yeah, just getting that range of tones. So you, you got this sense of light and shade. And that's what you need to do this lesson if you can give it a go.